Hello. All right, let me give you all the lowdown. I I need to be like moving around and active usually to feel good because of my circulation problems. Um, and I have one class on Tuesdays and it's virtual right now because my professor's out of the country. So I haven't left my like apartment yet today. And as such, I feel terrible. <laughs> so, um, I'm very tired, weirdly, even though I slept, like, a lot, um, and, yeah, I'm dizzy and ill, so, it's gonna be another, um, I suppose a good way to say it is another hanging by a thread, Papa's Day, so, get hyped, I gotta open the, the Papa, okay, here's the deal, I'm getting a perfect day today in Scooperia. Scooperia is like the perfect one for me for difficulty. For perfect day. Like, Wingaria was too easy. Sushiria, I thought was a good difficulty. But then, once you get in a late game, I think Sushiria is the most bullshit. In terms of, like, inexplicable 99%. So, Scooperia feels perfect. Like, there are, there are, every once in a while you'll get an inexplicable 99%. Oh my god, ad, advertising. Is that coming through to Mike? It's not. Thank goodness. They need to pay me. Oh, it might be coming through. Whatever, you can't see it so it doesn't count. Whatever. Point is, uh, it's good. So Shuri was rigged as fuck. Um, Wingery was too easy. Scoopery is kind of ideal. I think. For difficulty level. Um, let me pause my musica. Musica pause. Um, and then let's uh let's grip and rip. Let's see here. Where is Inumiki Bezer? Oh, I deleted it. Why did I do that? Two of my why two of my windows are set to Lapeat. Did I accidentally make two of the windows set to Lapeat? Why did I do that? Hey, no, 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 no. No. You have to pay me. Okay, the window needs to be resized. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. Get some water. All right. Here we go. I really want to start this new series next Tuesday. So, as such, we need to get the perfect day today so we can stop. Okay. I always forget that this game is a thousand decibels for some reason. I have my headphones like perfectly calibrated to where I need them to be. And then the game is way, this game is so loud. I don't understand it. The doctor. All right. freaking game okay we have the um also check the comments there's this dude spencer in last week's stream who informed me that uh it is pronounced um a holly uh incorrect <laughs> multiple people told me and i researched technically it's neither holy or holly but holy is closer and i don't trust myself since i've never spoken in in that dialect to nail it 
So I'm gonna anglicize it. I apologize if people don't want me to anglicize it, but that's just kind of a thing about dialects. It's the same thing as when people get really upset when foreign foods are pronounced with like an anglicized pronunciation, but like it's the same the other way. It's just kind of how, um, it, it's just kind of how language works. Different different countries say different things in their own dialect, and it's whatever. Like I'm never gonna get torn up if if a French person goes to McDonald's and he's like McDonald's. It's like go for it, dude. I don't care. <laughs> say however you want to say it. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna say holy. I'm sure it's wrong technically, but people informed me. So if you're upset, take it up with with the, with them. People have informed me that of the anglicized pronunciations, holy is closer. Um, so we're doing holy. We're saying holy. It's not, if it's not holy, that's fine. We're saying holy. Okay. Let's game. Let's do it. Uh, I got a hot tip. Cletus should not be in public. That kind of stopped me in my tracks. I was I was about to say something and that absolutely stopped me in my tracks. If you show Cletus a, an LED screen, he'll keel over and die. I'm surprised he even made it to the order station. With how much commercial shit I've got in my lobby. Um, anyway, got some advice. You see how on this ice cream scoop or on the on the cookie scoop, you have that bar at the bottom that flashes yellow or red if you didn't do it at the right speed. And that's kind of your ruler for like if you did it right. Uh, the ice creams don't have that. And there were a lot of moments in the last stream where I got 99s and was just befuddled. Uh, and, and some folks have informed me that while it was sometimes on me for topping, it's also often because I did the ice cream too fast, slightly, and just couldn't tell because there's no indicator like there is for the, for the cookie. Uh, and there is a visual cue, so I'm, I'm on that now, so I, I'll never make that mistake again, at least not unintentionally. Or, I mean, at least not without knowing. Obviously, any mistake is inherently unintentional. I'm gonna shut my trap. For, for instance, here we go. So this person would like vanilla ice cream. There's no bar that tells you if you're going too fast, but there is a visual cue, and that is that the ice cream sea is filling up the scoop fully. Occasionally, it, w it was not quite filling it up last time, and that's where my 99 came from. I got dinged for that. Now, it's going to take me a little bit to get back into the uh, swing of things here, uh, but a, a perfect one to start off would be really nice. Kalidas. I have a good feeling about this stream. It's gonna be a good one. Cletus is pleased. I've pleased Cletus. That's true. If there's anybody who I don't want to make an enemy out of, uh, that's coming to my store. It's Cletus. He's gonna run over my my uh, place of work with a tractor. <laughs> and that doesn't sound like a fun experience for anyone. Uh, these look so similar. That's so mean. Okay. There we go. Now I'm like a little bit in my own head about the ice cream, but it's it's fine. Yep, looks good. Uh, uh. Okay, whipped cream. Looks good. Chocolate syrup. Looks good. Pistachios, gross. Eh, I like pistachios, just not on my ice cream, please. Um, the thing I, with the name I don't remember, and this. We're not gonna serve it up yet. We're gonna, we're gonna. Weight score hasn't really been an issue for us for a while. It's more about the baking and the topping, so I'm gonna be a little patient. Prudence has a golden ticket. Cletus will dump manure on your door. <laughs> if he's displeased. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and serve this up really fast, and then I'll get these cookies going. What do you think, Skylar? Perfect day on the first day of the stream would <laughs> change lives. <laughs> okay, let, let's, let's not panic here. Okay, pomegranate, and then white chocolate chip. Okay, saffron. It's prudence and chastity. That's right, I forgot I named the dog chastity in my little, like, head cannon. Uh. Okay, chocolate syrup. Ah! <laughs> 
that really hurt, actually. That hurts, man. That's okay. It's only the first day. Oh, that, that like, sound I made was involuntary. <laughs> That's actually just what it felt like. All right, chocolate, 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 chocolate. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not like you stepped on a bee. I did not, for starters. Oh, I just fucked myself. That's probably enough for 99% with how this game scores. Stupid bullshit. Purple Burple. AIDS flavored. What is Purple Burple? I ask this every stream, but I'm just so curious. I would like someone to recreate Purple Burple. Like, is it like an ube? Or like grape? Or does it just not have a flavor? I'm so torn up, man. We should be having a perfect day right now. You were up to such a... Yeah, okay. Now I'm just in my own head. Uh, okay. Banana. It looks like a little smile, guys. It looks like a little smile. If you, if you, if you look closely. 99 on the bake. Yeah, they are so brutal with the baking. The bake timer is very, very, like... Uh... Something or other. Welcome to Fast Freddy Fart Hole Something or Another. That's one of my favorite TikToks. Oh my god, it's Fast Freddy Fart Hole Something or Another. It's like clearly someone was like asking their dad to say something for a TikTok. <laughs> he couldn't remember it. <laughs> Durian. Peanut butter uh, dough. This is a diabolical order, by the way. Peanut butter dough with durian inside and then cookies and cream. Ice cream with chocolate, strawberry, pistachios, and spice. And mint. And mint topping. That's insane. I think we as a community can all come together and say that's insane, right? This is like Sushi Rio when they were making the like Cinco de Mayo burrito bites but with still like sushi ingredients only sometimes that was pretty brutal when it would be like can i have rice shrimp and like nacho cheese and chili flakes it's like okay let's calm down how do you do this one again okay it is literally just all right okay that looks perfect. I got it. That's so ugly. I'm going to put it on probably. Perfectly timed. This was a good first day. We didn't get the perfect day. We actually missed two. And this one's not even done yet. So we might miss three. But I got to say, for a first day, this has been phenomenal. I think, I think our future is bright. I want to read chat, but there's just shit going on all the time in this one. Like, bakery, a lot of times you were waiting on pies, so you could, like, read, but... No. Oh, yeah. That wasn't very even coverage, so I might get dinged. Boom. Boom. ba da ba ba da ba And then this. I forget what it's called, but... It's a lot of flavors. This is the grossest looking order we've ever had. Holy shit. Wow! Okay, that... Getting a perfect on that order has taught me something really important about how this game scores. This game... Unlike Freezeria, it does not really penalize you for not making it all the way to the edge for even coverage. But it always does for going over. So we should actually tend inward. I'm used to freeze ray where you've got to like really ride that line, but on this one, I don't think you do. I have 10 tickets for Fashion Flambe. Okay. I win. I missed my therapy appointment. 
Well, what's on your mind? <laughs> oh no. Um, what kind of pants or shoes were they? Were they is it these? It was. Phew. I'm not very good at this one, it turns out. Rash guard. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. In the PCU, purple burple is a flavor that isn't locked to ice cream. It's also soda, syrup, drizzle, and slushy. Oh, so I guess it's 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 like um, blue raspberry, where it's just kind of a man-made flavor that the kids love. I'm the kids, by the way. Blue raspberry is awesome. Um, pineapple. <laughs> it's not pineapple. <laughs> oh shit. Um, there's actually a lot going on in this one. What kind of shoes were they? Were they green shoes? I think they were green shoes. I think they were green shoes. Okay. <laughs> it's not a pineapple. All right. No worries. Okay. God damn it. This is just the Riddler. That's the Riddler. It's the Rizzler, dude. Everybody look, it's the Rizzler. You guys hear me? It's the Rizzler. These hats are hilarious, by the way. Anyone who wears these in real life, I, I'll laugh at you. Um, I actually don't remember even a little bit, so... Um, uh, wait, no. Okay, well, there's that. I know I had the jacket, but I don't remember, like, what kind of jacket it was. This is definitely wrong, because I don't remember, like, at all. It was that kind of vest. It was actually closer than I thought I was. I got two bucks. Yeah, I'll play Flash for Fun Blade again. Oh, my God. Um... Oh Jesus! Look at the look at these glasses. What looks more right, dude? That is so subtle. That's brutal. Wow, crazy. That is tough. I'm awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a Disney actor's dress. No, you're right about that. Okay. Yeah, an orange shirt with an orange jacket, jeans and the black shoes. Yep. God! There's so much. So much fashion flambe. I still have two tickets. This is endless. I want to get back to the perfect day grind, man. The Adidas. Uh. Adidas. I don't remember looking at the hat, so I, I don't actually remember what the hat looked like because I wasn't really paying attention. And they must have had a bracelet of some kind, probably this, because I didn't notice it. <laughs> wow, look at that. That was extreme logic right there. I got a small Valentine table. What are you going to do when you eventually get the perfect day? Um, probably fly myself into the sun. A white bucket hat. Whack-ass visors. And then it's like red... Whack ass visors, white bucket hat. That's right. I did it. Let's decorate the lobby. I got a large comet table. It's rare. It's a rare item. So. How about that? <laughs> what do you think? 
Man, these are literally as clumped up as they can be. I feel like this balloon doesn't need as much space as it's taking up. That's kind of annoying. All right, whatever. Um, I got a wreath poster. Sure. Um, I'm gonna stick with the 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 holy one because it's holy. So I'm getting the the, the bonus. All right. Um, what is our money looking like? Very good. 256. I'm really not using the bait boosters ever. So, and I also don't necessarily want the special sign because in this one, the specials take infinitely longer. Well, let me check what specials I have because I've, I've gotten a, a, a couple more. I've gotten the banana butter and yeah. See, why would I ever like... Chocoholic is so easy, so I'm not changing. Yeah, absolutely not. They all have three cookies, so in this one, getting them to order the specials is not good for the perfect day. It's just for, like, money and shit, and I don't care about money. So I never am going to want the special sign. Ooh, this actually could be helpful if someone orders something really simple. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for the uh, posters and stuff for the waiting score. Um... Give me the thin window. <laughs> okay. I got a lot of windows. Um, Now they can see outside. <laughs> All right, and then one more, one more check for clothes. What? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I should get the um, holiday spirit bonus, of course. What am I even doing, man? What's wrong with me? Okay, I already have this bonus. Uh, I don't have a holy belt. <laughs> Go figure. Um. Oh, there goes my spirit. There we go. Okay, look at our holiday spirit's pretty good. We just haven't unlocked the belt, jacket, glasses, or arms. And that's fine. Okay, let's go to work. Florida ceiling windows. Kayla's back. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, dude, Kayla always brings with her... The, the the best dessert and you can fight me on that. That's my favorite dessert. It's so tasty you, I mean you can't fight me on best because that's a bad claim to make because it's subjective But you can fight me on the fact that it's my favorite <laughs> Okay, oh Kayla and your order is so simple so elegant. I like Kayla Okay, there we go. I like you Kayla What's the lore here? I'm making cookies for pe the people ask me for cookie and ice creams and then I make it for them and give it to them Cletus uh, bagged Edna, which is crazy um, I would have thought that I, I think I think Cletus is swinging above his weight a little bit. I think Edna is um, in, an, in another league, but that's fine Oh, I can't speed it up because of the... That's annoying. Yeah. We should have gotten another bake booster. I don't know why I didn't do that. It literally just completely slipped my mind. All right. Well, next time we can afford it, we're getting more bake boosters. Okay. Looks good to me. And then... Um, sprinkle sprunks. Yep. And a macaron. Kayla, this is the cutest dang thing I've ever seen. Do you agree? Yeah. The answer was yes. The answer was yes, of course I agree. Ugh, do I risk it and take the order? Let's do it. I think Big Polly's a star customer, so it'll be quick. Yes, and it's only two ice creams. That's good. Yeah. Huge. That was a huge play right there. That's actually crazy. Also a completely unnecessary risk. It wouldn't have mattered if we waited, but... 
Whatever. Okay. Oh, don't, don't, don't tell me. We're gonna be safe. We're gonna play it safe. It's not that much of a time loss. We've got windows. <laughs> it can wait forever. <laughs> like dogs. They've, they've got something to look at outside for enrichment. Okay, chocolate. Yep. Mint. Yep. Yep. Vanilla. I want you guys to know that you're witnessing history and that I, I don't think it'll take that long for me to get the perfect day today. Maybe it'll happen today. I'm kind of getting the techniques down. I, uh, my, my, my hand locked up on that whipped cream, which is why it stopped moving, uh, suddenly. Yeah, we're not risking anything. They've got windows now. We should be good on the weight score. Okay. My daily enrichment is Pokemon Go walks. <laughs> That's awesome. Enrichment time with the ice cream enclosure. <laughs> that one blew my mind. All right. I, I can't lie. That one did blow my mind. That one absolutely blows my mind. That one blows my mind a little bit. All right, maybe we will not get the perfect day today. That was a little bit of, a bit of bullshit, but that's fine. Flush it. I'm all about flushing it. What the hell even just happened? Yeah, that's fine. Now that the perfect day is over, I'm phoning it in. I'm just gonna speed through the rest of it. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I missed some whipped cream. That's fine. We're done. Now we just hurry. Yeah, even if it burns, I don't care. I could just speed through it and serve up some shit, um, but. And this will get burnt, doesn't matter. But I mainly want practice more than anything. So we're not going to. Because, I mean, we, we, we have a gift right now. We have all these orders. This is a good time to try and experiment. Because, um... So when you go too fast on the ice cream, it looks like that. See, like, it doesn't fill up the scoop. <laughs> there we go. See, this is what I'm talking about experimenting. Is, like... I wanted to give a nice example of that ice cream thing. Uh, and also I don't... Oh, it was Skylar. I thought it was Dawn. I'm sorry, Skylar. That's absurd, by the way. That's still like a, like a you did it sound. For that, pretty crazy. This is my least favorite character, I think. I gotta say. Yeah, Moose is my least favorite. That being said, I am going to try and knock his socks off with this ice cream cone. That's not on me, that's on the game. Uh, I forgot the whipped cream. I kind of went into auto- Oh no, 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 this is Chocoholic. Looking at the wrong one. 
This one's down. Crazy, the 99 on the bake and the build. That's Those are both crazy. I think I should err on the side of going like really slow on the ice cream. Just to be absolutely sure that it's getting full. That's off center. All right, well, it's over. Uh, yeah, Moose sucks. Least favorite character. Just looks annoying. Uh, okay. And then, boop, bop, boop. Fuck you. How much I like Moose entirely depends on if she's a beautiful butch woman or just some guy who tells me Tame Impala is underground. Fair. Actually, you know what? Here's my hot take. How's this for equality? I think Moose would annoy me either way. <laughs> I feel like both if it's a beautiful butch woman and if it's just some dude, I think either of them would tell me Tame Impala is underground. Eh. Maybe not. Where do I go? Okay, that way will kill me. I have to go here first. That one's tricky because there are like... You can lock yourself into a kill. There you go. There's like a chain smoker's lad. Actually, yeah, that's fair. Wanna play? Sure. Um... Okay, going there is, is you die, so. Yeah. They're getting trickier. You're, you have to like think about what you're doing now. La 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 la. Oh, this one's got a lot of steps. Valentine's Day. I like slider escape. I gotta say, like, this is like an actual game. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna stop thinking before I act and start just grip and rip. Okay. Um, did I get any, uh, thing for, nope, I don't care then. Poster. I matched. Uh, okay. Um, can I afford, no. I shouldn't have spent all my money on Windows, dude. <laughs> Breaking news. Okay. Kingsley! I remember you from, um, Freezeria, Kingsley. Papa's Transeria is just Claire's. No, that's not Claire's. 
Either that's Claire's and two letters were swapped or it's a different place I've never heard of and I'm missing something. I hope the former also might look like a big douche idiot. White chocolate. Chocoholic? Say no more, my friend. Whoops. Why would anyone want this one? This one blows my mind, dude. It looks so bad. It's just only chocolate. Like, what's the appeal, man? I gave you like chocolate, but this just like looking at this makes me feel ill. Alcoholic later hater for life. Well, like think about like all of these options you can get for like to get some different flavors on your palate And then you can get chocolate cookies three chocolate cookies with chocolate chips in all three of them With three scoops of chocolate ice cream a chocolate syrup drizzle and chocolate shavings. That's just not fun Even if you like chocolate There's no variety there It's disgusting The only people who get that are the the millennial Facebook moms who want to keep up their appearance of of, of, of of the shit they put on their status post. Where they're like, Certified Chocoholic here! Use some strawberry. That's what I'm saying. Like, some variety of flavor goes a long way. Ugh, oh, the one cookie orders. Give me life. Death by chocolate. Yeah, you're going to hell. <laughs> That's right. Purgatory by chocolate. More like bruh slap. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> bruh slap is not from anything. By the way, in case you think you're missing like an inside joke, I just am really tired. There's no inside joke. There's no joke. That wasn't a joke. It was stupid. Need to hold myself to higher standards. Chocolate syrup. Chocolate rain. I think I made that exact joke in uh, Bakeria, so sorry, everybody. What do you think, Dome? That looks literally perfect. Okay. That would have been crazy if it wasn't. Actually crazy. Criminal, even. But Down's bowels are not happy. He looks intolerant. He looks like a chump is what he looks like. Plus, like, I'm gonna go ahead and say sorry to anyone out there named Down, but like, Down, dude. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, purple. We're gonna go so slow. It's gonna be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Have you all seen the video? I think it's Travis Scott falling into this like little. It's always the third ice cream of the day. That one I didn't even miss. It just like slipped off the side. That hurts, man. Anyway, there's this video of Travis Scott, Travis Scott falling into like a hole on his stage while he had attitude on. He's like, yeah. Yeah. That's an awful shame. Jinkies. Start over. Honestly, I might start just resetting. I've never thought about that. I like play out every day. Should I start like resetting? Is that bad? Is that kind of against the spirit of it? I don't know. No, let's not. I should get the bake boosters before I do. If I if I get to the point where I'm resetting, I should at least have all the upgrades. It's hard. It's hard, man. It's a tough life. <laughs> yeah. I have such a hard life live streaming Papa's Scooperia as my work. <laughs> on a Tuesday afternoon in my comfy room my nice sweater 
Okay, sprinkles of sugar. Uh, there you go. Um, okay. Perfect. This is great practice on the bright side. Doing a great job today. That's three out of four um, perfect scores. The tough part is it truly does just get tougher as it goes. Oh God, I always forget that you're fair. It's a live crystal. Oh God. Oh, crystal's gonna fill the whole damn page. Okay, mercy. Mercy. That's one of my favorite like things that old people say as an exclamation. It's especially a thing that like baseball announcers do it all the time. <laughs> There's this famous clip of like the White Sox home announcers like commentating a game where the White Sox were getting just ravaged. Um <laughs> he just sounds so tired. They give up like seven runs in the inning. And then the other team like hits another home run. He's like, and that ball is long gone. And that's another three runs. Mercy. It's so funny. <laughs> I love it. Mercy kills me. Pop. Okay. Whipped cream. Some of that sweetened fresh cream. That's another TikTok I've seen. It's this dude reciting from memory this clip of this woman cooking like a, a some kind of pie. I forget which one. Pecan pie. I have no idea. Uh, but he's like reciting it all from memory. It's like that won't hurt it though. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You see where I've messed up that plate? <laughs> it's Paula Dean. It was Paula Dean. You're right. You're right. You're right. And then she takes a bite and like her eyes cross. <laughs> it's so good. I'm going to have to uh, see if I can pull it up after this day is over. I, I said recently that I'm trying to get into a habit on stream of um, if I reference a clip, trying to pull it up really fast to show folks so that everyone understands what I'm talking about and doesn't. Like the burden's not on them to go find it. Uh, let's see. That won't hurt it though. Yeah, that's how she says it. Whoops. That won't hurt it though. <laughs> 97 on the bake is wild. Was that other red syrup? Beats me. All right. No clue how to express something funny online without skull emoji or lamau. Lamau is pretty good. Or just ha 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 is pretty funny. Like all caps ha ha ha. Two things I can't stand. So if you do this, that's fine. Gee, I have like too many of these. I'm such a like grumpy old man about internet lingo. Like I'm just, I'm so fast to get tired of shit. Yeah, the crying is funny too. Um, I, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm so quick to get tired of like online lingo and it's so bad and I'm so like, jaded and it's it's terrible because it's like it doesn't hurt anybody and i'm just being needlessly negative but more important is being honest and i gotta say the like here let me just put it in the chat this shit where people think something's funny and just like smash the keyboard i gotta be real that stuff really gets on my nerves <laughs> like, especially when it's so long like if you're saying something funny and someone's just like it's like, don't, please stop. <laughs> Just stop it. Okay, anyway, I'm a jackfruit fan. Um, but yeah, you can do that. I don't care. Like, uh, it's just me being like a baby about something that does not matter. But like keyboards, I, I so clearly remember when, when that came into like Vogue and I was like, oh, that's funny. It's a funny way of expressing laughter. And then like four years passed. And now it's like, man, <laughs> there's a lot of things that are like that with me. And I don't want to, I don't want to create this environment where it's like, you are no longer, you should no longer feel good doing that. I don't, whatever. It doesn't matter. 
I just thought it was a funny thing to be like, for whatever reason, I'm tired of this. And it, it bothers me, but you can do it because it's, it doesn't matter. I have no right to, to expect you not to keyboard smash and you find something funny because I don't like it. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think keyboard smash to exp express stress. I think that works a little better for me. But yeah, no, I have like three pages worth. I could fill a Google Doc with stuff like that that for some reason irks me, but I'm not going to do that because it's needlessly negative and it covers so many things that it would do irreversible damage. People would suddenly be like, oh, am I annoying for doing this? The answer is no. <laughs> it's just my own weird problem. Same reason I have a, a texture issue with clay. Does that mean that I, I'm never going to do anything with clay or that no one should ever do anything with clay? No. Anyway. To build the keyboard smash on mobile. It's true. So when people do it on mobile, it's like, that's so much effort, dude. Self seems ruined. I'm straight now. Another job well done. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can pull up this, this TikTok of Paula Dean. Hey, Clay and I spice paper mache. I haven't done anything paper mache like ever. You want to dance? Shh, quiet. Okay, Paula Dean. Um, that won't hurt it though. This is it. 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 Okay, let me see if I can um. Oops. Yeah, the eye grass. <laughs> okay, 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 this is it. Whoops. <laughs> that won't hurt him, though. If you see where I messed up that plate, I think I know just what'll fix it. We're gonna cover that up with just a little bit of sweetened fresh cream. Does that look delicious or what? Wish you were here, Michael. Too bad. Too bad. This is the best part. This dude recited that whole clip, like the full length of that, all 40 seconds of that from memory on a separate video. And if you watch it back, it's all correct. <laughs> that won't hurt it though. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your patience, everybody. <laughs> Yes! This is the best game. I love Rico's Chili Works. It's it's unironically really fun. Huge Chili Works guy. People reciting shit is the worst. Oh, in a social situation, absolutely. That stuff uh, gets on my nerves. When people do it like as a substitute for saying something stimulating or funny, is just like reciting like a comedian's set word for word. That shit drives me nanners. But when it's like a TikTok and it's like, this is all you come for and you can scroll past it, I think it's pretty funny. Sometimes. If it's just like a movie scene, then I don't care. But for that, that's so specific. <laughs> I'm way into that. Cause like, how do you get to the point where you've got all that down? But yeah, no, I've got too many, um, issues i have too many experiences with people especially with john mulaney i think i've talked about this before john mulaney funny comedian i don't know anything about him personally because i've never like followed anything he's done um but yeah his sets are funny i've seen clips yeah he's funny dude whatever the number of times someone will say something that i don't know is in or is related to a john mulaney set and then somebody will start just reciting john mulaney that has happened so many times in my life that I just can't help but hate John Mulaney by this point. Because, like, it's it's the same kind of people who just don't know when to stop. Like, they'll start saying, like, oh, it's, uh, it's John Mulaney. And then they'll just keep going and keep reciting John Mulaney. It's like, that's those are not your jokes at all, by the way. Like, what is even going on? It's the same deal with, like, that's it's the same reason I hate Princess Bride, as I've talked about. I think that's a common theme with Princess Bride as well. 
People who repeat something in the comment section with a skull emoji. Yeah, it's it's like that's like the TikTok variant of the YouTube phenomenon that always drives me crazy in comments where someone will quote like put something that someone said in the video in quotes and then like attribute it to the person who said it. It's like that's yeah, correct. Like if there's a quote where someone will be like, Oh my god, that sucked and then there will be like a comment that's like Oh my god, that sucked. Attributed to like Therm 2023. Yeah, I did say that in the video. Anyway. <laughs> that is all. And you're someone who would start saying generally if you interrupted him and told him to stop, they would start over. Yeah, I would never talk to him again. Literally ever. It, it just annoys me to no end. Re like, it's because it's like, not only is this not your joke and you're just reciting something that I've heard before, but also you have now fully taken control of the conversation. No one else is allowed to talk. No one can hear themselves think over you spending the next minute straight reciting a thing from John Mulaney. That, to be honest, is rarely even that funny. Like, I, I no longer want to be a part of this conversation because I can't even hear myself think over you reciting th this jokes that some other separate white dude made. Maggie's cute. Maggie is cute. These Papa streams, I'm always so needlessly negative. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to be a douche. I just get so... There's so much downtime and I get so comfortable on these Papa streams. And I feel like I can tell you guys anything. I have vocal streams that are always very short. Yeah. I See, because now I've, I feel bad saying something like... Well, that... Yeah, you... you your, <laughs> your vocal stems are so much more convenient for me. So it's like, if it's a vocal stem, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Again, I'm being negative for no reason. <laughs> but people who do that... Oh, man. Like, I'm not saying you're a bad person. I'm saying, uh, shut up. <laughs> oh, I just don't like it. And a cherry on top. Uh, in terms of pure aesthetics, probably the prettiest ice cream I've made. Yeah, that's probably the prettiest one. All right, we're starting off strong. Maggie is really cute. I didn't get a good look at Maggie because I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, but yeah, you are correct. Gorge babes. They're just a hater. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you have no choice but to become that just by osmosis from being on the internet as much as I have in my life. I feel like, like, uh, this whole generation, like, growing up on the internet, I feel like you have no choice but to be a hater. Because it's so easy and widely accepted to be a hater <laughs> online that it's, it's just, it's hard not to fall into that mindset. Um. Yeah. Also, it's true that, like, it's crazy how much even just two years worth of streaming has offset a life full of acceptance and love. Streaming, like, really has, even if, though it's just for two years, I'm so much less, like, patient with people. <laughs> like, there are just more, like, internet lingo than there ever has been that now gets on my nerves because I'm exposed to it from streaming. Like, I, like, I, I've been editing, I'm almost done with that last Perfection video, so I've been watching back and editing all my streams from when I first started, like, on that Perfection series. Like, only two years ago, I'm, like, a completely different person. It, perfect day's over. That probably is a 90, um, 99% bake. Which is sad, because we do have the first two. It's always the third ice cream. What did I say? But yeah, I feel so bad. I'm like so jaded now. Like I'm watching back these streams and so many things happened that now would like really profoundly irritate me. And back then I was so chill with it. Like, the backseat gaming and the people, like, just telling what to do or being really weirdly passive-aggressively phrasing shit that now would, like, drive me up a wall. But back then, I was like, oh, yeah, that's helpful. Thank you. It's like, Jesus, what happened, man? Anyway. 
Uh, there we go. Yeah, I knew it, man. 0.5 seconds it took me to remove that cookie, and that was enough to ruin it. You know what? Now that we have the big booster, I think we're at the end game point where I think we start to reset. I don't know if people think this is cheesy. I don't know if people think this is bad and I shouldn't do it. If you'd rather I not reset, please voice your concerns. Um... And I won't. But... Plus, I get to see Maggie again. <laughs> and I like Maggie. I like the necklace. I like the hair. I like Maggie. Who won't complain about seeing Maggie more? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Boop. Okay, now we have as much stuff as we have in the lobby. We really should not be as concerned with the waiting score. Priority should always, 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 always be given to the oven. Even if someone's waiting to have their order taken. That's the issue I'm having now. I'm over baking cookies because I'm used to the games where the wait score is really touchy. And in this one, it doesn't seem to be. Especially with all the decorations I've got. So... It's all about the oven in this game where you bake cookies. <laughs> One time my friend said, all in or you're not ballin' on Discord poker. And I lost all my money. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> That's that grind set, man. You can't, you can't compete. Once you're up against like a real grind set, there's nowhere to go. There we go. But yeah, PSA for the future. From now on, every time I say blah, blah, blah is something that annoys me. Uh, ignore it. Fully. There are... It's over. I literally forgot my one tip to myself. We gotta reset again. It's already... It's over. Oh my god. I'm such a moron. Again. <laughs> I hope Cletus dies in a stampede. Anyway, yeah, if I ever say like, oh, this this dialect thing gets on my nerves, um, ignore me fully. Only exception is if I say something makes me uncomfortable. Then please try not to. Because there's like, blah gets on my nerves, and then there's blah makes me uncomfortable. For instance, therm, any, 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 <laughs> therm, any, um, variation of thermy. Anything that's like thermy. Thermy, thermy, wormy. That shit actually makes me feel uncomfortable. It's not just annoying. It actually makes me feel uncomfortable. And I said that in, I think it was Bakeria. And that just caused more people to do it because they wanted attention. So, yeah. Do not call me thermy, wormy. Ever. And if you do, I want you all to make a promise with each other that you will ignore it and not give it any attention because it's clearly a cry for attention. Moderators, obviously, you don't have to ignore it. You can mute it if you like. But, like, just don't, like, call attention to it in words. Because that's what they want. That's the main thing I've learned from streaming. Is when people are being annoying in chat, ignoring them is the move. The number of times I had to do that in, like, Breath of the Wild and, like, Animal Crossing. Where someone was being really obnoxious. So, I just ignored them fully. And it was like, wow, mission accomplished. So, yeah. Pinky promise. If you see any thermy wormies, Oath of Silence. <laughs> Oh, that's a little off center. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is my favorite order. I love. I like Maggie and I like Maggie's order. Maggie's is just great. Like, this is such a cute order. I would never get it. I don't like chocolate uh, ice cream on a chocolate cookie, but, like, it just looks so nice. You got it, boss. Thanks, man. Thermy feels condescending. It always has. And then this one does not make me uncomfortable, so you're allowed to do it. This is in the other category of just something that I find obnoxious. And this is just a side effect of being the owner of a YouTube channel called Therm for three years. Um, I've seen it all. If you think you're being creative, you're not. I've seen it all. If you call me Thermometer, I will roll my eyes. You won't be able to hear that, but I will. If you call me Thermostat, I will roll my eyes. If you call me like Thermonuclear or whatever, or like Thermodynamic, some, some long word that starts with Therm, I will be rolling my eyes silently behind the screen. Know that. I gotta double check my chat to see if no one's done that recently because then they're gonna feel attacked. 
and that would be sad. Okay. Okay, I've got time. I've got time. Kayla, please. The first two are always a lock. The first two are always a lock. Perfectly baked. Let's get these in the oven. I'm not making as much commentary today because I'm so focused. <sighs> this is so embarrassing. Like, in the grand scheme of things, this does not matter. But it means so much to me. Okay, Mindy. Oh my god, three for three. This is unprecedented, I think. Maybe not. I feel like we always bungle the, the third one. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I'm surprised no one's come in. Someone's going to in the next like few seconds. Yeah, okay. Let's uh do one more scoop and then I'll take the order. Trishna. I like Trishna a lot too. I don't like Dom, but it's fine. The Therm Hates Women crowd is quaking. The Therm Hates Women crowd has been silent this stream. Gotta say. Trishna looks like she bully me. I suppose. I don't know though. I, just, I like the little orange hairpin. It's cute. You can be a bully if you have a little fruit themed hairpin, I feel. Okay. Looks perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to take a break because my stomach just turned. Like I just started feeling ill. Ugh. Okay. I had to make sure I wasn't going to vomit all of it. LAPETE! Okay, remember, oven takes priority. He's a closer. His order's going to be really long. There's a chance we would have burned those cookies. I actually love that play I just made. That's huge. Oh my god. How awesome would it be if our perfect day ends with LaPete? <laughs> and of course, he's going to fill the order card. This has to be the one, dude. This is so cinematic. I actually feel sick to my stomach. This is so embarrassing. Okay. It's going to be a huge disappointment if I don't perfect this one because I want it to all be on repeat. 
for better or for worse. We have an, you're the first person to order this flavor. Genuinely, I, I think. I don't think a single person in the stream has ordered that flavor. I don't know what it is. Right, and then pistachios. This like little shaker is adorable, by the way. <sighs> Banana. Remember, oven, oven priority. One left. Lepeat. That was so risky there on the edge with the pistachios. I don't know why I did that. The perfect day. Save back up now. <laughs> Another one. Another. A third. There have only been two or three in the history of the channel, and we just had three just now. Let's see, how many rip ones can I can I name off the top of my head? Uh, when we were playing Lethal Comedy with Matt. Um, when I was bridging in the nether playing Minecraft with Matt. Uh, when I beat the Devourer of Gods, I think someone ripped one. Um, Spirit Fairer, when uh, somebody <laughs> died. A fourth. A fourth. A fourth rip one. Five. This is unbelievable, and I'm so proud of myself. That was so satisfying. The fact that it ended with Lapeet after I had a prophetic dream about Lapeet. <laughs> oh shoot, I told the story in a separate stream. I'm gonna have to cut to that. I'm gonna cut to that in the final production. It'll be really cinematic. Oh, this video is gonna be so good. Ah, God, this is huge. All right, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. It's only been an hour. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, well, six. <laughs> six. I'm so proud. Ugh. That is so awesome. I've been having a lot of tummy issues this morning, and they kind of go away while I'm streaming because I, like, forget, but I was so stressed on that last day that <laughs> I came back. Genuinely, while I was assembling that last ice cream sundae, my hands were sweaty, and my stomach was, like, like I, I could feel it literally turning. Wow. All right, well, um, what do we want to do now? I'm thinking, by the way. No, no suggestions. This is, this is me thinking. It's my world. 
We can do a few things. Let's do a little bit of music stuff. We haven't done music stuff for a while. Um. Because I, I already have three uh, long series going right now, so I'm not going to do a wheel spin. Because we've got Outer Wilds, which was the result of a wheel spin. We've got Spirit Fair, which is, was the result of a wheel spin. And then the one that's going to start next Tuesday, I've just decided to do. So, there's no point in doing a wheel spin right now. So, we're just going to do some random one-off shit. Maybe play some Roblox later. But for now, let's do some music stuff. Music stuff. Pause. Okay, now, uh, I got to... Let's see here. There we are. Okay. Um, this is a project that I, I, I made all in one sitting um, on Sunday, Saturday. I don't know. I made this all in one sitting. I wanted a new end card because my end card has been the same for like over a year. And it's been, it's it's outdated now because a while ago I like completely rebranded my channel. Uh, for those of you who are newer, it's it was always space, but my channel used to be... Let me see if I can pull up my uh, old channel icon and um, banner for you. Um, wow, if I, if I search Therm, so many things come up. This is actually a fun thing to look at, so we're going to look at it. Um... Let's see. Let me add a, a window capture. Yeah, here's my file explorer. I'm not doxing myself. I'm going to hide this stuff on the left in case it's important. Look at if I control F therm on my uh, <laughs> file explorer, I get all these various therms. Um, but yeah, so my, 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 my channel logo, which is now this one. Which I, which I, of course, drew myself. Um, let me, let me zoom in. Is there a way I can, like, zoom? What the hell? There we go. Um, but yeah, this one is the one that I drew myself. <laughs> which you can tell from how rough it is. Um, and this is the, the, the banner. It's got like this, these are the colors. These were not always like my colors. Cause for a while I was a lot more into the pink and the purples. Now there's, it's mostly blue. I just like this color scheme a lot more than the old one. Um, my old channel logo, basically this used to be the like color scheme of my like space thing. And my logo, so this was my old logo. It was that with that space one. And then my banner was just that space with the, it's obviously way zoomed out, but it was that space just with the therm. So that's what it used to be. This is really old. This is like super old. Um, but yeah, that's what it used to be. And so my old end card was, um, wow, this is some really old stuff. This is my first one ever. Or no, actually technically this is my first one ever. Um, it was this. I don't even know what this is. I always had the color scheme. This is my this is my logo until I had like a hundred subscribers, and then it was this for a while. And then I remember that was the first unpopular thing was I changed it from this to this, and people were like, "I missed this one." And then I changed it to a yellow background, and people were like, "I missed this one." And then I changed it to uh, this, and people were like, "I missed this one." Uh, and it was that endlessly. And then I changed it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, this used to be my space thing. So for a while, my end card has been like this space background. But that's outdated because now my branding is this space background. So I wanted to make a new end card. And in the past, all my end cards have been made out of... Like, I did videos for a while where I played this this online like music game called Incredibox. And then would like spruce up the result and like personalize it into an end card and for a while i've wanted to make my own end card without doing a credit box because i always thought that felt kind of weird to be like like it's not just mine like i want my end card music to be something that i made from scratch so i've spent the last uh i spent a little while on i think saturday or something uh making a new song for an end card and and i'm 
and the end card that I'm gonna make, I already made it, but it basically is just gonna reuse this GIF with some, like, with a transition and some zooms and whatever and blah, blah, blah. But I like this GIF a lot of the crow. I had it commissioned and it's cute and it has my background colors, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's the idea. And I guess I can walk y'all through what I've done. And this is already finished. The end card's finished, but it could be fun to try and extend it because everyone always asks for like an extended version. I could do that. Could be fun. Um, but yeah, the first step of it is is that like the most important thing for like an end card is um, I'm gonna throw up. The most important thing for an end card is to have a nice transition thing of like going from video to, to end card. Uh, and I can't sing is a fact about me. But what I can do, I watched this video that was like, hey, here's a tip for music producers who can't sing. If you ever want to add some like little vocal charm to your tracks but can't sing, um, w wordless backing vocals... You can just blast it, completely blast it with auto-tune. And like if it's vocals, obviously it'll sound terrible. But if it's just like a background thing, it'll make this almost synthy effect, which I actually really like. It's it's like in a lot of Nintendo music. Like a lot of Nintendo music does that. A lot of, um, especially the Mario Wonder music does that. So um, I did that <laughs> with, I basically hit record on my mic and like shakily was like la <laughs> like with four different notes that i thought would sound good together and then auto-tuned all four of them and it made this chord do you hear that <laughs> how funny is that that's my own voice making like what sounds like a synth um and so i was like that'll be like the the transition point along with this like synth pad so so then like you you lead into it with um this like uh piano bit and then and then it'll lead into like the the music stuff and i thought that was funny and also it, it adds some personality because it's it's me uh anyway there's papa's yes it's on the Chrome makes. That's me. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a funny idea. Um, and I no one is allowed to hear the raw audio of this because I'm so embarrassed by it. Um, but you do get to hear the one that I killed with auto-tune, which is just like... <laughs> a cute little noise. Um, so yeah. I can't, I can't really sing because I can't really hold a pitch and I don't have much range, but I can have a pitch in my head. Um, I've got good like internal pitch. So if I have pitch correction, then I'm a great singer. <laughs> it's just that simple. Uh, it's like a bike honk. It is like a bike honk. And then I guess, yeah, I guess drums first. All, all of my, all of my like end card music has had drum patterns. Well, not all of it, but the one that I've had for a while was very like synth wavy, which is just like synth wave has really simple, like kick, 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 like on every beat and then snare on two and four. So I thought I'd use that as a starting point. Cause it's one of those things that you like literally physically can't go wrong with. So that was like the starting point, including this little break here where it's like, Oh, there's, there's no drums right there. Whatever. Um, and then, uh, to, to add just any kind of flavor, I did like two kicks cause I like that. I like that sound a lot. And then hats, literally a baby could do it. This is like the most boring drum pattern there could ever be. Um, but where you get fun little flavor is with these open hats. Like that gives you a little something with these crashes too. That's good. I like, I've always liked that sound. The like kind of leading up to like, yeah. So I like that. 
Um, so yeah, drums, very simple. Very, very simple. Baby boy, super baby simple. Um, simple, yeah, simple baby. Uh, so that's the drums for it. So like it leads into it and then there's this like, and then you start. So then bass is, again, I wanted everything to be really simple because I feel like a, like a good end card you can kind of chill out to. And I don't know, a lot of people say they fall asleep to my videos and I don't want my end card to blast in. Uh, so I figure with bass, why not just keep it simple and just do like a note on each beat with occasional like. There's that little break in there, which is always fun. Um, so yeah, this is like day one stuff, <laughs> but I don't know. I like it. Sometimes simple is good. It's catchy. Um, so then I, I did stuff with this like pad, which alone, it's just, um, serum, which I don't know how to use. So I watched a tutorial. I looked up on, on YouTube how to make a pad out of a synth and just did the first three steps and then got bored and stopped. So it's like the most simple synth there could ever be. It's just a saw wave with like cut off, I think. Um, and yeah, I am but a little rat that runs in circles. And I do the same thing every time I make songs. So um, this is the chord I put in everything, which is major seven. It's like all I know. Um, so that plus like some side chaining. 200 BPM is crazy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh shit, your name's Tenshi Music. I'm about to get dunked on. I don't know what I'm doing. This person does. But yeah, it's it's just this like pad that I try to do. And then I thought it would be cute to have this higher bit come in at this like drum break. Yeah, and then it gets a lot wider because there are two of them. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. Uh, so with everything except the parts we haven't covered yet, um, so that's it without any like melody or anything. It's like pretty, pretty easy to listen to. Like, there's just kind of not that much going on anywhere at all ever anywhere. Um, and it needs some melody. Well, this is just separate. This is some like backing piano. For babies, baby piano for babies to enjoy. Um, and then I put some strings in too. And they kind of supplement this background piano as well. So there, that's pretty cute. Um, and then the melody, which I wanted to have kind of like, and I think I nailed the vibe. This feels like a, kind of like a, a Wii, like Nintendo Wii piano of like a very fake piano. This is the melody. We haven't gotten the melody yet. Um, like a really kind of, it sounds fake because the top end is so heavy and it has like some reverb and some like delay. But yeah, so then, and that's it. Except for this like drum break, it has that piano thing. And then when I was listening to it all together, uh, so I'm just gonna play it all together, but without this last bit, it sounds like this. And I wasn't, I wasn't very whelmed. You could even say I was underwhelmed by, by this. It 
just felt like he was kind of missing an extra something. So then I cracked open NES VST, which I think is what Toby Fox used for most of the Undertale music. And it's just a square wave on like a 75% duty cycle. I don't know what that means, but it, all I know is it makes it sound different. And I put reverb on it. And I thought it sounded nice with the piano. You hear that? There's like that kind of like... How cute is that? Um, duty. Dude. Oh my god. Never even thought of that. But yeah, it's like, it's a very like minor change. That little square wave. But it's like my favorite part of the song though. Those are my favorite bits of the little like glitter notes. But yeah, so this is going to be my new end card song. Um, and now, my stream's only like halfway over, so I thought it could be fun to try and extend this. I don't know like what that would entail. Um, at all, I don't know what that would entail. I guess I can like sketch out a new chord progression because I, I think I don't know instead of just repeating the same thing over again well maybe we do it one more time yeah maybe we do it like one more time with like slight differences and then after two we do some other progression go uh let's see it's like three uh there god now i gotta like measure everything in that goes there Sure. I think that's right, right? Yeah. Is that everything? Is it now the same? No. Because this needs to be there. Now it's just the same thing again. We can like add something or change something. Uh, yeah. What do we want to change this this time? Not much, cause sometimes repetition is good. So that's the first time, and then second time. Yeah, let's change the melody first. We're gonna just totally freeball this. Nope, that doesn't sound good. I don't like that at all. I think repeating um, this is like an important part of it. That sounds cute. Um, this is gonna be changed also. Oh, this is also this is my one, another one of my favorite parts. It's so subtle, but I I wonder what would happen if you pitch bend a piano and it sounds like this. It's like you can barely hear it. 
Like a little bit. But I think it's cute. And I like it. Um, yeah, we want to change this. That's right, we have to get rid of it now. Oh, did I never make this unique? Yep, god damn it. I always do that. I forgot to make it unique. Now I gotta go fix the old one. fix this that one now it's fixed cute add some gravity add some more gravity I don't know what that means but if you'd like to enlighten me, please get back to me. Will it be on Spotify? If I extend it long enough, I'll, I can upload us a single. I think people would enjoy that. Oh, that's that's what needs to happen. Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have just extended it. Why did I loop it? That's so dumb. Okay, whatever. I'll just like do it manually. <laughs> So stupid. Oh yeah, I gotta um That no G sharp. And then this one, I'm actually gonna, um, I'm gonna have the like this do a little solo kind of do this actually the right way other than eyeballing it. Sorry everyone for having that in your ears. Oops, oops, oops. I gotta fix the pan. Uh, I do all this manually because I don't know how to do it not manually.
Huh. We're gonna remove this this time. We're gonna have it be, I think, strings. Can I make a separate instance? This is gonna be a lot of work for something that might not even sound good. But it's in my brain and I'm intrigued by it. Let me let me put this on. Is there anything on 14? Yes. What about 15? Yes. 16. 16's open. Okay. Um what if there's like oops, that's the wrong one. I only have like four. <laughs> I, I've, I, there's always a while where I'm like, I use the same instruments every time. And it's like, because I have like 12. <laughs> so, of course, I do. I need to get more. It's expensive. It's so expensive. Um, okay. What if there's like a, a, like a string swell? Yeah. See, I want like it, I want it to go up to like that note. I don't think contact supports slide notes. Nope. How far does it let you pitch bend? Is my question. Um That does work. How high does it let you go? That's the max height, really? That's really sad. Yeah, okay. Um, that's a huge bummer, because I want it to slide. I want it to like, go like up to there. Uh, but I don't know how to do that. What about channel pitch? Nope, doesn't do anything. Shoot, I have a dream. <laughs> Run to the king. I have a dream in my head, and I can't. I can't. It, it can't. I can't do it. I don't have the tools to do it. Because contact doesn't support slide notes or pitch bending above like an ounce. This was like three hundred dollars. You're telling me you can't do slide notes? What the hell? That's annoying. I wanted to have this. Like, like it slide up to whatever note that was. Like, to go from there to, like, that one. D sharp. Because I can, like... See, like, how much nicer would that sound if it slid? Like, imagine how beautiful that would be. Imagine all the people <laughs> like how pretty would that sound if it slid, but it won't allow it. That's bad, by the way. That doesn't sound good. That's why I timed it. Why is this so much? Ugh, I hate that. Okay, well, we could fix that if we wanted to later, but this is a dead end anyway. That is really frustrating. Is this a poly? No, let's make it poly. What would it sound like in an octave? Would it sound ugly? It definitely does not have the same feel to it, and I don't like it, so. Ugh, okay. Is there any tools in here that would let me slide something? Let's see. Nah, doesn't seem that way, does it? What if it was mono and porta? What would that sound like with a string? It, it, it doesn't work. 
Yeah. The answer is it doesn't work. So. Suppose I could have guessed that. Well, this is very sad, and I feel very sad. Huh. I always forget that I... I, f I forget that, that uh, the process of doing music stuff on streams is that it takes me forever and it always sounds bad for a while, but I just need to trust the process. But when I have an audience, I feel worse about trusting the process because now it's like 107 people are listening to music that I think sounds bad right now. It's like, I don't have the patience. Anna Kendrick from Pitch Perfect. I don't know who that is. God damn it. Let's let's fork here. Does that sound good? I don't know. That's entirely guessing. Yeah, I, I suppose. I suppose. Okay, and then this this has not been made uh, unique, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna cut and paste this run. Hello, okay. Uh, it is mine now, and it's it's being given to this. Now I don't know the timing of when this. Is Yeah, you know, I've decided uh, on second thought that this sounds awful. And we should just leave it how it was the first one. Repeating something is not that good. Oh, it cut off. This is really sad. I know I keep saying that over and over again, but like, something needs to have this. Okay, well, let's go ahead and EQ these strings. Sounds better. Yeah. I, well, that's really quiet, so we're going to actually. Um, because that's important for this part. And then this can uh, fade out. No. Why didn't it do it? Oh, because it's not. Oh, that's what. Oh, oh. That's right, because it's its own thing, so I gotta. That's why it sounds off. I see. I know there's, I've, I've watched tutorials so many times in my life about like buses or whatever and like sending things to other things in music. Uh, it literally leaves my brain the moment I read it every time. Like I, people always tell me like you do all this side chaining thing in the most inefficient manual way possible. And it's cause I forget every time I try to look up how to do it. I forget. Okay, uh, and then this one, actually, this one does not need one. Oh, that's two. So. 
Okay, it, it can have a little more time. That's a little aggressive. Yeah, you know what? You can hold that note for a while more. And this isn't going to be the end of the song, so don't fret. Um, yeah, okay, let's listen to this from here and see what else needs to be added or changed. cleaning that's an example this should be held the whole way it sounds much nicer. I kind of am okay with with um this for a just letting this just go for like a while oh I hate that so much. Um, I kind of like it. Yeah, and it leads into that next bit a lot nicer. Oops. Okay. That's fine. We'll clean up the rest of it later, I guess. Need the drop to hit harder. Well, that's not really the vibe I'm looking for. Cause like, I don't know, this is, it, since it's an end card music, I feel like this, the whole idea is it's like more chilled out and I don't want it to be too much. So I don't really want it to like blow your face off. Like it's already a lot, but I feel like the only way to make it hit hot, like harder would be to add some really treble heavy stuff and like kick stuff and that seems like counterintuitive to the vibe I'm going for. Does, 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 God, contact is so expensive and I don't get why none of the libraries respond like at all to like the velocity or pitch bending or anything. Like I want to have control over the velocity of this violin here because this note for some reason is a thousand times louder than these other ones. And there's no way to control that. Okay, now let's sketch out the next chord progression. I kind of want to take this in a completely different direction. Okay, let's uh, let's sketch something here. So we're just gonna focus on this. So we have this. Maybe um, we voice this differently. I kind of want it to be like. Idea, 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 idea. Let's turn it into, um, yeah. Let's turn it into like a six, four, one with the C. That's not what I meant to do. And then this would be like 
major. So it'll be like. that and then into that just trust the process y'all I definitely have heard this somewhere so I'm probably ripping this from something without realizing yeah and then maybe it comes up to like a um, what would it be? Let's see. Let's see. Can't hear this instrument like at all. It's so annoying. Pick like the worst one to sketch out chords with. than what I was looking for. I think I want this part to be like, maybe like half time and then it'll come back into like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the idea of doing half time for this part. So like just a kick every other one. And then it'll kind of pick back up. Yeah. We're going to do this instead. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There you go. gonna sound horrible until yeah so if you don't have patience for this come back in like half an hour <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to get this to actually sound good um let's do bass that's because that's gonna be the kind of savior of this probably That's sure. I meant like sure. That's good. Yeah, this snare doesn't work with, but with halftime at all, it sounds really bad. Um, 
But I have I have grand plans. I have grand plans for this song. So it's fine. I appreciate how many people stuck around after Papa's was over. Most of them left, but a lot of people stuck around. Does it sound like low? Um, we're gonna go high low. I can't really hear what that is. Okay, that's right. There we go. Neat. That's a good bass pattern. like to break it into thirds but I don't know how to actually do that without just like eyeballing it so I'm gonna eyeball it yeah they're not quite thirds because I didn't measure it right That that pattern works better, I think. And then for now, because I just want to focus on the rest of the shit, we're just going to loop this for a little bit. What is the audio quality of, of that? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make a fun special thing with this. Oh, I gotta um, set it to the middle of the ear. Why 
does it keep resetting? It's so annoying. Okay, I gotta manually like, you know. And this is gonna sound really bad until we do some like leveling. That's pretty epic, bro. And then G, I think it was. And then E, I think it was. Um, yeah, that's true. I want to do this like manually and just have. fade out better. Oh, son of a bitch. Um... I don't know if PD has a dance team. I unfortunately didn't see that. Except that. This is cute. Cute noise. Um, and then I'm thinking this part is where we pick it up and go back to like... Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to go back to the like... It's too loud. Why are you so quiet? Yeah. Yeah, and then this is where the halftime drums are gonna end. We're gonna go back to the old pattern. Yeah, so I couldn't hear because it was so low. My hair keeps getting stuck in my headphones. It really hurts. Ow. It like gets caught in the wires, and I have to yank it out. Ouch. Okay, 
all. I'm not ready for that yet. Yeah, this is going to fill up and it's going to sound much nicer. Now there's not that much going on. Let's go ahead and grab all of this and uh, copy paste it here. This is when we bring it all back. And we bring it all back. All of it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Okay, let's listen from the start really fast, at least from here, because I want to figure out how I want things to proceed. I have a feeling I'm going to fall into the pitfall I do every time in this ladder section and do a sine wave lead. Maybe I do, um, do this. Yeah. That's definitely, it was, it was lacking punch. Maybe only, yeah, only the sine wave trills, because with the piano it's too much. Yeah, that's much better. Do I also want to have this kind? Maybe it comes in later. Yeah. This doesn't quite work for me. Thank you. 
That's what we need. Needed something that wasn't just. It sounds, it, it, yeah, no. it's doing too much. It sounds nice on its own, but not really grand. I'm also gonna, um, That sounds nice. And obviously it's not gonna go straight back to there because we're just gonna do it. Okay, well, focus needs to be put on. Well, uh, okay, this part's not done anyway, so let's listen to the words. Might as well, while we're here. sometimes but this is just kind of sad sound. I think it needs like a melody so we're gonna we're gonna do that oh we're gonna do that let me at least scoot you up there there you go pal um whoops god damn it okay yeah I kind of like it starting with with that Oh, that D does a lot of heavy lifting. <laughs> Penis. Okay. <laughs> this one is not making any noise. I think it's because it's just already accounted for by the A sharp. Thank you. 
I sometimes have a fear that all of my melodies in everything I've ever made sound the same. Because I just free ball it and then keep whatever I put down on my first try. And I feel like, unfortunately, it means I do the same shit over. Stop doing that. God, I hate that it does that. Yeah, no, I kind of might be in my bag a little bit right now. <laughs> I really like how this sounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think it might be a little bit too uh, loud. Yeah. So I might do two notes. What would that sound like? No, that's too much. You got it. It goes against. It, it ruins it. It ruins it. Well, just switch it up halfway through.
I messed literally all of the velocities up. Perfect. Stupendous. Okay, that's good. Plus it's like foreshadowed a little bit by these square wave bits here. like this section a lot. I think it's the start of something great. It just needs a lot of bottle of love. I really like this and it's great and I feel sick so I'm going to end early. <laughs> I would keep going for another half hour because we are kind of in a groove here and this is lovely. Um, but yeah, I'm having tummy for trouble. So I think I need to go eat something. So I'm probably going to go make myself a sandwich, do some homework. Keep working on that perfection video. It's almost done. I'm so excited. So excited. And it'll be the debut of my new end card. Eee! Eee! Is everyone excited? I'm not, I'm not seeing enough. I'm not seeing enough movement. <laughs> I don't know how Ninja leaves his house after that. All right, sweeties, sweetie babies. Thank you for your time. Thank you for those of you who stuck around for that little like music diversion. I think it's endearing to see because the first time I did music on the channel was got a tummy like a year and a half ago, and I like watched that back, and it's like, oh my god, I've gotten so much better at it since then, which is very nice. Um, so yeah, I like this a lot. This thing right here. I think it's nice. Okay. Love. Bye. Love, love, love.